Hey guys, I'm here. Welcome back for more One Piece the anime. Today we are actually going to be capping off the Arlong arc. We're going to go ahead and go through 43, 44, and 45. Now that we've caught up with the live action, I'm going to kind of put this on you guys. I'm going to see what you guys want to do because I'm still really torn about how I want to approach this because going into season one of the live action series blind and not really knowing anything was so much fun. And I know a lot of people really liked having somebody that wasn't coloring the experience with comparing it the entire time to the anime. It's not like there's an end in sight with a lot of these other shows, like we got eight episodes, 10 episodes, 15 episodes, and then you're done for like a year, year and a half, two years before you get something again. Because even at this rate, what? We still got years before we would even finish or catch up. I'm worried about getting burned out on the show at the moment. I do wanna go ahead and let you guys know if we do keep on going, there is a very strong chance I may just need to take my own little breaks. Make sure that I'm not going to get burned out on the show because that is the last thing I wanna do is taint that experience. Anyway, I'm just trying to be transparent with you guys because I'm, I'm gonna be honest, the closer we got to the end of this arc, I've just been really stressing because I'm so up in the air with both decisions. I do wanna keep watching. I am really interested in where things go. Then, like I've said, all the other merits about going in blind into season two. Like there's just a, there's pros and cons to both, but the reality of the situation is if I did wait for season two, you know, it's very well could be 20 years before we ever get to the end of One Piece. By that point, it'll be remade again. But guys, keep an eye out on the community tab. By the time this video comes out, there should already be a poll up. So go cast your vote. It's gonna be up the day before the video posts anyway, so you may have already cast it. If you haven't, go check that out, drop your vote, and let me know how you guys are feeling, and uh, we'll go from there. But with that said, let's go ahead and hop in. If you wanna see the full-length reaction, you can check it out over on Patreon, or forget to remember the channel, get you access as well. It is a watch-along format, so you wanted your own footage to sync up the time codes for actually the entire episode. Over there, you get the same thing for all the other shows and movies that we cover on the channel. You also get to suggest and vote on what movies to react to each month. We got monthly Q&As, behind-scenes footage, to try to make it worth your while, so you are gonna be a support channel. But guys, at the end of the day, Really appreciate it. If you enjoy this reaction, to least leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. That all said now the way. Let's go ahead and hop into episode 43. Here we go. Oh. Her quill was bloodstained. ここで海賊を書き続けることが最高の幸せなのさ。He's not, it's not about using. This is one of those moments that's going to flare him up. Oh, he's trying, he can't move it. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I knew that choice of words would fucking piss him off. Just <sighs> treats her of a, as a pet. As a tool. <laughs> so someone said that the word you, they're translating for friend here isn't exactly accurate, that comrade is a little closer, which would make a lot of the his dialogue make a little bit more sense. Mm. He's destroying your survey room. Oh, you need those, right? 
Be careful, dude. Oh my god. Oh. So fucking sad, man. These two look like haggard as all hell, man. Oh! Oh Let's go. What was it? Battle axe or some shit? Oh, whoa. Yep. Oh. Oh, God. He still got him, though. Dude. So they they cut that right out, didn't they? He was doing himself a little wolf fame fist though, or for a second though, or fang over fang rather. Damn, dude! Holy shit! swelling <laughs> they're like we gotta get the fuck out of the way oh my god <laughs> Soro dude Just taking a nap There's a whole ass battle going on, buddy. It hasn't stopped. Hell yeah, man. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, sorry, Sanji. I highly doubt Arlong's dead, though. He's just buried beneath the rubble. Yeah, the suspense was killing everybody. Almost literally. Good job, guys. Good job. Good thing he's a rubber. Y'all. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Fucking kill this rat. 
戦いの一部始終を見させてもらったまぐれとはいえ貴様らのような名もない海賊ごときに魚人どもがよもや負けようなどとは思わなかったおかげでアーロンに渡すはずだった金もこのアーロンパークに蓄えられた金品もすべて私のものだ全員武器を捨てろ貴様らの手柄海軍第十六支部大佐ネズミがもらった人が大いに喜んでるところに水さすんじゃねえよ<笑> should just stab his ass God, he's so fucking delusional. No, Jiko, Utta Bunto, Bermel San, no Mikan Batake, or Gucha Gucha, and stick with it. Now drown. Arigato Nami, Skiristayo. I'm with Gin, man. あんたたちはこれから魚人たちの片付けそれと誤差の町の復興に協力アーロンパークに残った金品には一切関与しないことああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、Shut the fuck up. No. Let's go. Now, can we let Zoro heal, please? Before he starts throwing down again almost immediately. Oh, God. They're pretty fucked up, man. No. She'd be so proud, man. Is this the first time we've actually seen the snail phones? Ah, uh, so this is how they get the wanted poster. <laughs> what a menacing evil pirate he is. Hell yeah, man. Damn, okay, so like we have very little. Like, I don't even know what the next. Because I know uh, two of these close it out, but like the fight, the Arlong stuff, we wrapped that up pretty much in the first half of this. Emotionally charged episode, though. And I love seeing Luffy just go off. I always love like when we see just the certain ways. You can always tell when it's going to happen to or when somebody just kind of tripped over the wrong words. The moment he said he was, you know, he wouldn't be able to use Nami as efficiently as Arlong. He's like, that's not the whole point. That's not why we're here. That's not why we're fighting. Isn't to use Nami. I, I loved, I, ooh, I love that because that just fired him up but you know he took his hits man he tanked all through that but just like luffy does bulldozed right through it all persevered right through it all took every bit of it but dished it all back out in turn careening arlong all through his entire complex he's still down there roughed up all to hell along with all of his other little goons I, I presume all of them are still alive. I don't imagine because we've yet to really kill anybody off. I'm curious to see if they come back around, if they make a resurgence uh, a little bit down the road or anything like that and what that might look like. And then obviously this rat fuck 
is just spouting off being a little bitch. He had to run away with his tail between his legs, but he only talked shit again once he was uh, at a safe distance. But Kokiyashi Village has got its independence back, its freedom back, and Nami got her money back. That was in turn meant for the village, and I assume they're going to share that around with everybody else as well. Great little end of the episode here. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll set up for episode 44 and see what comes next, because I'm kind of curious what these next ones are going to be. Pro I would assume, you know, maybe just kind of gathering themselves and setting out and whatever, because we haven't seen Luffy see his bounty poster yet, his wanted poster yet, so that'll probably come up in one of these, but... Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, we'll dive into 44. No. Oh, whoa. Look at all that. Yeah, I imagine we'll spend some time with the uh, village just finding its footing and getting its life back. <laughs> oh god he ate the bone too and now he's dying <laughs> Oh, is the doctor finally properly tending to his wounds? <laughs> but a musician comes before a doctor. Yeah, <laughs> why does that come first? But yeah, it's like Luffy's like, we gotta have our sea shanties. Heal the spirit before we heal, heal the body. Bellamere's grave, probably. Bellamere's <laughs> <laughs> oh, she genuinely wants to set sail with them this time around. Oh. <音声><音声><音声><音声><音声><音声> Three days in a row. I mean, hey, man, they've been like through hell these last eight years. Let them celebrate. God, he's just got so many slabs of meat. Wow. <laughs> Hero of love and courage. <laughs> Tojiko, why even bring that up? That's actually really mature. <laughs> you dumb tattoo punk girl. <laughs> Just call me punk for short. Yeah. <laughs> 
What is he doing? I don't remember his name, man, but whatever that dance was was not it. I appreciate the life they now have. What are you even doing? Luffy, what? Why did you? Why? What are you doing? My deepest conveniences. Concussions. Compliment. <laughs> Con <laughs> you fucking dumbass. I love it. God. Three hundred and sixty-eight, dude. Mm. <clears throat> um, what's all that? Oh, is it the treasure she got back? Wow! <laughs> She's gonna finally be able to go out and achieve that, and not under anyone else's thumb. Oh. Oh, ベルメールさん、8年もかかったけど、やっと自由になれた。ベルメールさんの言ってた通りだね。生き抜けばきっと楽しいことがやってくるって。本当だった。私ね、この島を出ようと思ってるの。8年間いっぱい開示や地図を
まだ礼をしたりんのは我々の方だというのにナミナミナミさん船を出して<笑><笑>別に言われてもな。Damn, she's fucking swift. Dude, she needs to play some football. <laughs> Or basketball? We're all the ball. Nice landing, though. <laughs> nice. Hey, she left you all a hundred million, so it is what it is. よ。約束を忘れるな。うん。じゃあね、みんな行ってくる。ほらよ、現像。うん。飲んだドクター。この紙切れは。あの、バカめ。懲りずにまたそんな入れ墨を入れて行きよった。みかんと。風車だそうじ
they're finally free of any of these facades of all and, and whatever. I just really love that. And the moment of her with Bellamir in the cabin was also so beautiful, man. That definitely got me to tear up, especially when she gave her the push out the door. Oh my God, it was so good. And then just the revelation of the pinwheel and how she got a tattoo instead rather than a brand, but as a something, a symbol of her support. The tangerine and the pinwheel. Ginzo and Bellamere. Two people that helped found, be the foundation of everything that's been going on. Also the revelation that Nojiko also got her own tattoos to help Nami feel better about her own brand. You know, it was like, hey, now we're, we got kind of matching things going on. She took note and inspiration from that so that it has a very similar aesthetic to what Nojiko has, but obviously it has a little bit more of her own spin to it and what's close and important to her, the two you know, like true foundational elements of who she is and what got her to this point. The promise that Luffy had to make. While Bellamere and him always had this like weird flirtatious relationship, not that he ever really reciprocated it because he always got a little too flustered about it. He does have this kind of like stepdad kind of uncle-ish vibe that he he's always just kind of been there. He's been another kind of guardian figure in her life this entire time. And I like that, you know, she she got a tattoo that represents the two of them. I don't know what the next one is. We've left now. So I, I did see that 45 was where the live action ended. But I'm, I'm not exactly sure. We still haven't got the wanted poster yet. So um, maybe that'll be in the next one. But we're we've left the island. So I'm not exactly sure what's next. So I guess we'll just have to find out. Let's go ahead and uh, strap in for episode 45 and uh, see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Special Tabasco star. Oh! Right in the eyes. <laughs> is it it? Is it the poster? It is! <laughs> oh, whoa. スクナクトももう支部だけで手に負える一味じゃない。対。海賊団を結成する以前に海軍支部大佐の小野手の盲眼を倒したのを初めとし。ああ。天正金の平均が300万ベリーのイーストブルーでいずれも1000万の大台を
歩き出しているのね私も医者になってみんなを助けるっていう夢に歩き出しているわ私の夢とウソップさんの夢 Oh yeah, who's gonna be our doctor? Let alone musician or is that gonna be a pipe dream for for Luffy? Because he keeps bringing it up but I feel like that's the last thing we need Oh wow, all the way back here Oh, Kobe? Yeah! No. Was that a uh, berries and cream mopping right behind him? Ah! <laughs> oh my god. Everybody's gonna get this notice. Look who's a captain all over again. The Parati. Hey! I love seeing this, man. Oh. <laughs> it just warms my fucking heart. She hasn't shown off her tattoo just yet. We just saw it creeping out from under her sleeve. Hey. If you're patched up, I think we'll be able to I think we'll be able to hold our own though. I mean I know we will either way, but you've been fucking shit wrecked every encounter we've had so far <sighs> even this guy i really didn't expect to see him again though Damn, I couldn't read all of them. Former Lieutenant Gold, full body. So he's not even a Marine anymore, or was he just demoted? I mean, he's clearly still got Marines under his command. Well, some. But. Yeah. Oh, whoa. <laughs> That's just some bad fucking timing right there. Let's just shut this guy down again right now. That Navy guy from some time. <laughs> On Sanji can't hear over the stove. Oh, 
Yeah, dude, he hasn't been able to do much of anything. Yes. When are we going to get Zoro some more swords? He needs a new set. Oh. Oh, did it jam and... <laughs> this guy's got some shitty luck, but serves him right, man. <laughs> yeah, he never he was never around to experience his uh gum gumness. <laughs> <laughs> you got any soup bowls around? Yeah. Yeah, get get the fuck off our ship. Get the fuck out of here. Oh. Shit, he abandoned his own ship. A fucking idiot, man. Jesus. Oh, whoa, whoa. It's Mihawk. God, his fucking ship is badass. Oh, wait, is this where he goes to see Shanks to deliver the news? Yeah, it's gotta be, right? これは<笑><笑> Not without a drink. I love how everybody's just celebrating him being a wanted man. They literally just said, we can't do that, Luffy. それに正面から入った方が絶対気持ちいいだろ。あんたと話してると頭がどうかなりそう。これよりさ、まずどっか島に寄って肉を手に入れようぜ。この島には有名な町がある。ロックタウン。なんだそこは肉の名産地か。別
great capstone to everything that we've been through and just how far Luffy has come since he set sail. And I just like just his flyer, his wanted poster, and just kind of going back through everybody and getting everybody's reactions and different takes on it, whether they're enemies or friends or people they've just crossed paths with. It was just a really fun episode. It was just really... I don't know, it was really emotional going back through all these little moments, all these little places, all these people that have these hopes, these dreams, these aspirations, and connections to Luffy one way or the other, especially with, you know, with Hawkeye, you know, much like in the live action where he goes to find Shanks partying on a beach and, you know, delivers the message and it just like perks up everybody's spirits and then everybody along the way too from the bartender the mayor kaya everybody just be like oh damn man look at them they're doing the thing and you have people <laughs> like these marines that are just like really gearing up they're like dude they're taking out these head guys they are climbing up we've never heard of this person and here they are taking out these these heavy hitters they got to be dangerous they got to be stopped riling up the marines and then getting that huge initial bounty like they said nobody's had an initial bounty that high in the east blue before when the average bounty is like three million berry compared to 30 million for luffy's very first bounty you know and then everything else uh, from that when they, we had this uh full body dude who after everything that happened the the shame that he he felt at the brate last time there has been demoted He's got this shitty crew now, his ship is in shambles, and he just happened upon them and just got shit on all over again. Dude just has some terrible luck. And then we just catch up on everybody else, you know, hell, Axe Hand got a little bit of a cameo, as well as Koro, as well as Buggy, and again, I assume that's Alvita. I mean, that would make sense, considering we were going back through people we'd already met, so it's interesting. I'm wondering if we'll get a little bit more. I imagine all these characters are going to come up in one way, shape, or form uh, later down the line again, just to touch base and see what they're up to. We still never followed up, though, on Arlong and his gang. Are they still under the that collapsed building? Are they still in Arlong Park? Have they vacated? Because I there's no way they were dead. It's just one of those situations, them especially, that I would be very concerned about leaving alive. Great episode, great arc. I'm excited for what lies ahead either way, no matter what we do here on the channel. But with that said, guys, what do you all think? Sound off the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry the conversation after the video. Hope you enjoyed the reaction. If you did, leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. Remember, if you want to see the full length reaction, as always, you can check it out over on Patreon or if you've got a memorable channel, get you access as well. And speaking of before we go, I want to shout out our channel legends. Manny Sherritt, Ryan, Karen, York, Horace, Scott, Melita, Robert, Anguiono, Jeffrey Hale, Jake, Contrell, Eric, Official, Casey Wood, Russell Crockett, and Justin Smith. Thank you guys so much for continued support. That's it for this video, guys. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.